Uh, good evening and welcome to my uh, PowerPoint presentation for the course uh, ED152 Human Development A Lifespan Approach. Uh, as an introduction, I would like to quote a word from the Heraclitus fragment 6th century before BC. Uh, there is nothing permanent except change. The aim of this presentation, the aim of this presentation is to deliver a creative representation of my perception on human development in socio-cultural context, basing on the theory study in Model One. Uh, the definition of human development is a scientific study of change and stability throughout the human lifespan. M Views on human development in both worlds. Human development in both the worlds are somehow similar to each other. Uh, Lev Vygotsky stated that social learning comes before cognitive, cognitive development in children and that children construct knowledge actively. Different studies on human development with theories have stated that human development, in, that humans develop in different ways but it's all in account of very society that children grow up in. We are all born equal. It's just the way we are brought up that makes the process of human development different. Most children in Fiji grow along rules and family customs that determine their development. Example, children born in traditional families. It can also be stated that by God's theories and the use of MKO, a monolithic author in child learning helps to shape a child in the process of development. Western theories and explanations. <coughs> Biggest theory of development. Much of what we know about how children think comes from the work of the Swiss theoretician Jean Piaget. Piaget's theory was the forerunner of today's cognitive revolution with its emphasis on mental processes. Piaget suggest, suggested that cognitive development begins with an inborn ability to adapt routine for a nipple, rooting for a nipple, feeling a table, or feeling the boundaries of a room. Piaget descri described cognitive development as occurring in four universal, qualitatively different stages. At each stage, the child's mind develops a new way of operating from infancy to adolescent mental, mental operations, evolved from learning based on simple sensory and motor activity to logical abstract thought. John Locke. John Locke, in an, in an essay concerning human understanding, defends the fundamental belief that humans are born without innate ideas and thus must derive their knowledge external sensible objects perceived and reflected on by ourselves. Experiences and studies of John Locke in Tabula Rasa lead Locke to argue that children commonly get not their general ideas nor learn the names that stand for them till having for a good while exercised their reasons about familiar and more particular ideas. The well-educating of their children is the well-educating of their children is much the duty of the parents and the welfare and prosperity of the nation so much depends on it that I would have everyone lay it seriously to heart and set his helping hand to promote everywhere that way of training up youth which is the easiest, shortest and able men in their distinct calling, John Lockyer. John Bradley, in 1948, Probably with help observed hospitalized and institutionalized children who were separated from their parents, later required for the staff regardless of their training and background to take notes on cards of children's behaviors. <coughs> Two years after collecting data, Bobby's companion Robertson protested that he felt compelled to do something for the children he had been observing. Bobby's major conclusion grounded <coughs> Excuse me. Grounded in available empirical evidence was that to grow us mentally healthy, the infant and young child should experience 
a warm, intimate, and continuous relationship with his mother in which both should find satisfaction and enjoyment. Later summarizes overlook the references to the substitute mother and to the partner's mutual enjoy enjoyment. Levi Vygotsky is so. In early 20th century Russian psychologist Levi Vygotsky developed a theory of cognitive development in children, known today as the Levi Vygotsky's socio-cultural theory of cognitive development. Vygotsky emphasized that children learn through social interaction that include collaborative and corporate dialogue with someone who is more skilled in tasks they are trying to learn. Vygotsky called these people the more knowledgeable other, or MKO. Could be teachers, parents, tutors, and even peers. Right. On that topic, his own socio-cultural context. Context. For human development involves studies of human conditions with its core being the capital approach. The equality adjusted human development index is used as a way of measuring actual progress in human development by the United Nations. Most children in Fiji are brought up with family belief and religion. Children being taught how to speak and act with accordance to the family beliefs and traditions. Mm. With similarities to the concept of MKO, some or maybe most families in Fiji and the South Pacific are always by their children to be the more knowledgeable other and helping molding the development of their child. We have older people who are always around children to babysit and also be part of the child's development. Example, a grandmother babysits her granddaughter and sings traditional songs in their mother tongue. Somehow the words are stored in the child's memories and will somehow get her interest to try speaking it or finding out more about it. <coughs> Whilst the grandmother spends time with the child, does some traditional reading in the presence of the child will give some sense of cultural belonging to the child. Every child has the right to be accepted and learn their culture. From infancy, most parents' elders begin to mold the child's development. Living in with most adults in a household also determines the development of a child. The food we eat also contributes to our development. Different family backgrounds and upbringing are also some of the factors that contribute and determines the development of a child. That's the end of our presentation for tonight. Uh, thank you very much for being part of it. Uh, I really appreciate your your participation in listening. Um, yes, and thank you so much. Naka.